Hi everyone, welcome along today. It's a lovely sunny hot day in the middle of June. Probably not the day to be talking about radiator valves, is it, I guess, but uh, it will be winter pretty soon and you would probably would like to have one of these I've got in my hand. Uh, and if you've got a thermostatic rad valve on your radiators, and most of us have these days, then this could well be the boy for you. So, from Reichel, German firm, we have this Bluetooth Smart Radiator Valve. Now this is going to be fully app driven remotely from your phone and it's quoted that you could get a suggested heat saving of up to 30% by using these. So we're going to take a look at them now. So all you interested in specifications, you can see them there, I'm not going to repeat them, they're all there on the box, you can still it at this point if you want to read them properly. So the main bit we're interested in really is that in typical applications 30% energy savings. So we'll see it's up to, as it always says up to, um, and you've got boost, you've got intelligent obviously via the app and you've got a very simple to mount. There's no draining the heating system down to fit one of these. Indeed I'm going to show you how to fit it. It's very simple uh, and requires virtually no tools. And what I do like about this particular one is you don't have to run the app. You can do everything on the front of the actual valve there. Okay, so there's no need to have the phone uh, and the app driven thing. Uh, but obviously that's what we want it for and I'm sure that's what you'll be looking for. Here then is the valve we are going to remove the top of and fit our new auto valve on. Now normally these undo with your fingers, that's why I said you may possibly need a tool because sometimes you, they're a bit tight and uh, you may need some grip to get off but normally they should just come off with your fingers, I'll show you. Before you do anything, just turn the knob fully on to five. That releases the pin inside the valve so it's easy to undo. Don't try and undo it with it down to zero, okay? <laughs> it will be very hard to undo. Five releases the pin, okay? Now it should just undo your fingers on there and twist it like that. Now if it is tight and you can't turn it, then it's best to use your, I use these footprints they're called, a pair of these, just to, just to break the seal and put them on there and just go like that and it will break the seal. That's how I say you may need a tool, but most cases you don't, you just undo it with your fingers. Okay, you just put it down and we can put it right on and away. And there we have it, okay? Now, if you look at your valve and look at your new one, you can see they are the same. Okay, so you know this is going to fit. They're done for most of the valves in the UK, but there are many adapter rings to fit to other makes, and I'll show you those in a second. As you can see, there's a range of adapters here, mainly for Danfoss um, style radiator valves because they're a little bit different with the spacing. So you can virtually get this valve to fit to most makes of radiator valves that we have here in the UK. Say so most of them, we just don't need this part. You can screw it straight on, which I'll show you now. So the fitting procedure. Um, there's a little strip in there when you pull this out that's for batteries. There's a little strip, I've already pulled it out which is why it's reading that, it's not the time or anything, it's not set or anything yet, but just to show you, there's two batteries there, pull the little strip out and it will be live before you install it. I mean you can still do it afterwards because the batteries will need changing in the two years I reckon we get for these, so that's not too bad, so once you've done that, I've done it before, we can do it when it's in if you want. Okay, face the valve towards you, as you would normally, and then start the thread. Okay. Make sure you get that nice and square, the thread, you don't want any cross threading or anything like that, it's got to go on nice and square, hold it towards the camera there and you'll feel it start to notch down. It's going down now, got a nice long thread on it, it's nearly there, yeah I can feel it tightening up there now. Okay, so it's got quite a long way to go down. Don't worry about it, it will lock on. That's How tight now. do you do it? As, as far as to when the thread stops. I can't turn that anymore now. There's no need to do it up with grips, okay? It is only a plastic nut as well, so, you know, don't go putting grips on there, you could split the nut. So that's it, you can feel it's tight. There's no more to go on it. We're in place. As I said, once it's fitting, all the uh, applications can be done on this front panel there, we're just setting up the days and times and things. Um, but 
we are going to use the app that's why we want this particular radiator valve in the first place uh, because we want to do everything smartly with the phone app now on first use um, you will get ADA sign on the, the device just push the central button here uh, and leave it because it's got to adapt and the adaptation run is what happens next you'll just see some symbols whirring around on the ends there uh, and eventually after about a minute it will come up with what's on there now that is now adapted and uh, we're ready now to download the app this here is our app, I've just downloaded it now, Color BT. Pairing the device is quite simple, you literally just push the button on top of the valve there uh, and it will come up with a number that you type in your phone. I've just typed mine in and now I've done that, I'm ready to start programming. Once set you get that little notification there, teaching is successful, so now we're ready. Probably set up on the app now for control as you can see it's set at 19 with a boost function in the middle we've got our nighttime mode there sun obviously nighttime and daytime and our modes see there that we can use the automatic mode or manual override mode i'm going for the automatic mode i'm going to boost this up and down A right click to the screen up there brings you change week program, activate holiday mode, eco and comfort temperature, open window function, <laughs> lots of little things in here, operating a lot, rename a room, delete a room and support, quite a few items on there and uh, I think one of the good ones is eco one, comfort control settings. So I will just go through these, uh, you can see them there, it's the open window function, very unusual but probably handy. Uh, I'll let you still the video if you want to look at these a bit more, so you can read them because I'm probably going a bit too fast but I don't want to spend too long um, on each one. That one I think is particularly very, very good, the offset temperature. Okay, I'll take you down there, fake the Bluetooth. Uh, restore factory setting, the boost function, absolutely a muster one. Okay, and you've got things like uh, setting the holiday function. Okay, so it does take quite a while to get all these things in your head. There then are my settings for me. You can see the times on uh, in the morning and in the evening for the valve in the fully auto mode. There we are then, if you're interested in one of these. Very good price too. I'll put it all in the listing. Uh, it's from Reichel, German company. Very, very good. I already have one of the digital thermostats, which I can't rate highly enough. Very reasonable price too. I'll give you a link if you want the Reichel thermostat also, because that will work obviously well in conjunction with these. I'm going to get a few more of these now to get the rest of my rads equipped. And uh, it just remains now to see how it performs, which obviously I need a bit of time for that one, it's midsummer at the moment, so <laughs> I'm gonna obviously have to wait till around September, October to really get these to use. And I'll try and come back to you then on that one, and let you know how this little baby's getting on. But for now, I'm very impressed with the look, the functionality, and the app of the device. So that's about it. All from me, as usual, you know where to go, Derrick and 33. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.